Good evening. Yeah, I'm Yuan from Apple. I'm building Kubernetes infrastructure and uh, platform at Apple. Uh, I have been a very active and a code contributor to Kubernetes projects and related projects in the last three or four years. Uh, this is my seventh KubeCon, but the first one in Europe. Also my eighth talk, but the first uh, lightning talk. So it's such a big stage. So let me take a quick and, uh, photo that I can brag to my daughter. <laughs> Let me go to the next one. No, back. Okay, so as you can see my name, right? And at least we be a proud dad. Okay, let's get to back to the topic of my talk and uh, power aware scheduling and in Kubernetes. I hope, yeah, the I can to I will bring the attention awareness to it in the next five uh, minutes. I don't need to go this. So why? So the power outage or the service down, and of course the service down is the top one reason in data center and the clusters. So now the Kubernetes has been used by more and more applications and also the cluster size, right, is getting larger and larger. We have a high risk of this overload of the power supply. On the other hand, and uh, if you are familiar with the data center power infrastructure, we typically also oversubscribe the power infrastructure to maximize the uh, capital investment. Unfortunately, and today, and the Kubernetes schedule is still only focus on the computer resource like CPU, memory, and storage. Although, and those are indirectly correlated to power consumption, but they are not perfect indicators of the power consumption. For there are a few reasons. One is the request, like the port request and worker request, don't exactly right represent the actual utilization. Also, the power and if you calculate the power consumption, it's a correlation to the resource utilization. But there are still idle power; other factors can affect it. So there are these coronation. So we argue and we need to bring and integrate this power awareness or make this power as a first citizen as part of the Kubernetes and we need a better power management in Kubernetes. So what to do here? So the first thing is to prevent the overload of the power supply. So we need to restrict or limit the aggregate of the power consumption of the workload to this and the power secret at different level from server to rack enclosure or to the entire data center, this power capping. The second is the power awareness and about the power distribution. When the scheduler make a decision where to place the workload, we should make sure, right, we can better balance this power consumption across the compute and the power infrastructure to minimize or reduce the risk. So how to do it? The first thing we need to and introduce, right, this and the power related data from the power topology to the power monitoring data as well as the power model into our the basic and the Kubernetes, the resource or the basic data. The second thing is that we need a set of the power aware or power efficient the algorithm to support this power capping and power distribution. In particular, we are proposing two key scheduler plugins. The first one is the field plugin. It will exclude those nodes or racks infrastructure that already have a very high risk of the overloading the power supply. The second one called the scoring in the plugin. It's preference, right? Choose the better nodes or better rack to run or load to better balance or reduce this risk. To summarize, we need and bring this and the power awareness and make the power a first citizen in the Kubernetes. So including this power topology and the power monitoring data as well as the scheduling algorithms. So also and the used to work or not in the power management, data center management in other domain. We should leverage and take advantage of the existing work 
we are not going to invent the wheel. So this talk, of course, just a very high level, like I said, bring this awareness to the community. And a lot of work we can do, and even like a previous talk, Mohawk mentioned about the carbon, uh, carbon emissions as well as sustainability. So I hope this talk and we inspire the community to work toward and better power management sustainability uh, in Kubernetes in the entire communities. I also hope I will bring more about these topics in the future and uh, KubeCon, maybe more in the, in the deep dive. Okay, that's it. I hope everyone enjoying the rest of the conference. Also one thing in case and you miss it and uh, I highly recommend it go to see the seeds of the tulip flowers. It's amazing and uh, you won't uh, want to miss it. Thank you very much.